Hello guys, today we're going to talk about the substance 3 methyl methcaffeinone 3-MMC. Table of contents. First I'm going to tell you about the drug's pharmacology, then about the dosage and effects, then about my subjective experience, and then uh, the scientific research that has been conducted on it. Drug's pharmacology. It is a substituted caffeinone and it has been shown to inhibit norepinephrine, dopamine and serotonin transporters. It is also shown to strongly bind to serotonin receptors 5-HT1A, 5-HT2A and 5-HT2C receptors. We can also conclude that it likely acts as a triple monoamine, monoamine releasing agent as we see with 4-MC as the two substances are very similar structurally and uh, the effects. Dosage and effects. Among the pleasant effects are euphoria, stimulation, tactile sensations, music enhancement, and increased libido. Among the potential negative effects are increased heart rate and blood pressure, anxiety, headaches, dry mouth, and compulsive redosing. The after effects can include depression, anxiety, insomnia, irritability, confusion, and psychosis. Um, I've listed here the dosages for oral and insufflated use. I've just copied them from Psychonaut Wiki. Rectal use is also possible. The dosages are slightly below the nasal dosages. Uh, Intravenous and intramuscular use is said to be highly pleasurable, but uh, insanely addictive as well. So yeah, my personal experience of it, uh, it's definitely an interesting substance, mainly because it has entirely different effects depending on the ROA. Like oral, if oral, um, orally taken, it has, it feels like a mix between MDMA and Coke. Uh, really wonderful euphoria and it's not very compulsive that way but if you snort it it feels like a version of cocaine that's multiple times as euphoric and way longer lasting and it's insanely compulsive and insanely addictive through this ROA and I've personally struggled with addiction from it um, luckily I've made it out of the addiction but uh, yeah, nevertheless, this is a very addictive substance and should be treated with care. Here, the scientific research, uh, there's not a lot we can find in the internet right now about it, but I found this pretty interesting paper right here. Uh, this paper shows that 3MMC significantly decreases ATP concentrations in the cells. Um, it's also significantly hepatotoxic. This means it destroys liver cells through the mechanism of programmed cell death, which is apoptosis. And it has even shown to be able to induce necrosis in higher doses. And um, yeah, it also causes a, a oxidative stress through oxygen radicals that uh, metabolize through the metabolism of dopamine. This can be mitigated by using antioxidants. I personally always use EGCG, which is a component of green tea. Yeah, it has to be said though that this, this paper, uh, in this particular paper, the liver cells were exposed to the substance over a period of 24 hours, which is pretty un unrealistic in a human setting. But nevertheless, it should be noted and uh, yeah, it's pretty valuable information. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I primarily made this video because the drug classroom hasn't made yet a video on free MMC, and I think it's a pretty it's pretty important important to have a video on free MMC as it's a very popular substance. So, anyways, yeah, see ya.